1992 was the year multi-party politics finally returned to Kenya after two decades of a monopoly on political activity by the ruling Kenya African National Union, KANU. The previous year, a number of anti-KANU politicians, including former Vice President and leader of the banned Kenya People's Union, Oginga Odinga, and former Cabinet Minister Kenneth Matiba, had set up the Forum for the Restoration of Democracy, FORD. In early January, Mwai Kibaki, a former vice president under President Daniel Arab Moy, launched a second opposition party, the Democratic Party of Kenya, DP. More parties would come into existence as the country prepared for the next general election due later in the year. As in the previous year, Moy and Kanu gave in to pressures for a return to multi-party politics reluctantly. In February, he had former Kitutu East MP George Anyona released from detention. But the same month, the ruling party Kanu was battling with conservationists and civil society organizations who opposed its futile attempt to set up a huge building, the Kenya Times Media Trust Complex, in the middle of Nairobi's Uhuru Park as headquarters for its party newspaper operations. The protest was led by Nairobi University professor and conservationist Wangare Madhai. That month, Uhuru Park would also be the venue of protests by mothers of political prisoners and detainees who staged a hunger strike, demanding the release of their sons. Wangare Madhai was again in the middle of the fray and ended up in hospital after being injured in the melee. By June, Tempers were rising between Kanu and opposition party supporters, most of whom were Luo and Kikuyu. In March, more than 60 people died in Sondu, in clashes between Luo and Kalenjin, the latter being strong supporters of Kanu. In April, more people would die in several parts of the Rift Valley during attacks by Kalenjin against Kisis, Luos and Kikuyus. But differences soon emerged within the opposition, even if not in violent forms. When in September, Ford members elected Odinga as chairman of the party, Kenneth Matiba broke off to set up a rival Ford party, Ford Asili, into which he roped in former Butere MP Martin Shikuku as secretary general. Within weeks, some members of Ford Asili, including former cabinet ministers Maina Wanjiki, Titus Mbadi and Matiba's old comrade in detention, Charles Rubia, split off to set up the Kenya National Congress. The following month, George Anyona would set up yet another opposition party, the Kenya Social Congress. With so many parties splitting the opposition vote, it was no wonder that when the general election finally took place on December 29th, Kanu emerged victorious and Moy retained the presidency, even though the votes he garnered were fewer than the combined number of votes of his rivals in the presidential race. Matiba came in second, Kibaki third and Odinga fourth. It was a good year for Kenya in international sports. Moses Tanui broke the world 3,000 meters record in Cologne, Germany. Ibrahim Hussein won the Boston Men's Marathon. And at the Olympic Games in Barcelona, Spain, William Tanui won gold in the men's 800 meters race, while Matthew Birir defended Kenya's unbeaten hold on the men's 3,000 meters steeplechase. In 1992, Kenyans bade farewell to veteran politician Masinde Muliro, who died of a heart attack at Nairobi Jomo Kenyatta Airport, shortly after arriving from London. Former Mombasa North MP and trade union leader Ibrahim Abdallah Mwarua, and former powerful permanent secretary in the office of the president Hezekiah Oyugi.